Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I just finished shooting a round of sporting clays up at Elk Creek near Owenton, Kentucky. It's up in north central Kentucky. And I did so with this TriStar Viper G2410. A group of my friends and myself went up there last weekend and shot sporting clays. And I thought it would be neat to go back and try it with the 410. It would also be a good test for this little TriStar Viper G2 see how it would hold up over a hundred rounds of sporting clays so i've got some footage for you guys today i didn't i didn't get to record the entire shoot but i got some highlights i'm going to roll through for you the ammo that i was using today is this federal high overall it's a half ounce of number nine shot it's in a really slick hull it's actually a remington sts hull very reloadable very slick little tapered hull feeds very well uh, of course, Federal took over Remington. They bought Remington ammunition out so they can use that STS hull now. And Federal put their own wad in there. Very nice little load. A little on the expensive side, but all 410 ammunition is pretty much. But that being said, I'm going to roll in some of the highlights of the shoot today. And then we'll talk about how the gun done after I roll those in. Pull. 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 Now, I had a blast today. Today was probably the most fun I've had shooting sporting clays in a long time. I wish some of my buddies would have been there with me to enjoy it. Uh, that was the only thing that was missing today. But it wasn't all unicorns and clay dust. I did have a lot of misses. In fact, I only hit about 65% of my shots, which is really low for me. But that's what makes the 410 so fun and yet uh, frustrating at the same time because you can do everything perfect and still miss you've only got a half ounce of shot and by the time it spreads out and strings out and gets down range to your target it's pretty thin so that that clay bird can fly right through that pattern and never get touched so it's a little bit uh frustrating but at the same time it brings back that challenge to sporting clays like like i used to have when i first started shooting it so I'll roll in a few of my misses here, let you guys see me that I did struggle a little bit. You know, I don't want to just post the hits. So here's some of the misses. Pull. All right. This gonna be this gonna be tough. Pull. Pull. 
I'm hitting the first one, but I'm missing that second one. Paul. Okay, so a little range report on how this shotgun done today. I'll start by saying that when you shoot sporting clays by yourself, well, I had my wife with me, but she was just running the controls. I was the only one shooting. And when you shoot like that, you move from station to station pretty quick and get the gun heated up pretty good. And I, this was no exception. I had this barrel hot enough that it would burn you if you touched it. That being said, the shotgun done very well. I had one bobble the whole time. It was a fail to feed. It fired and ejected the spent shot shell and went to feed the next one in and got about halfway and stopped. I don't know what caused that, but I gave it a little bump. Ran fine the rest of the day. Of course, that clay bird got away. <laughs> it was enough to, to let that one get away. But still, that was the only bobble I had all day, so I'm pretty proud of the little shotgun. I ran a modified choke tube the entire time. I didn't switch chokes back and forth or anything. Uh, it seemed to be uh, good enough. When I done my part, it seemed like it was doing its part, you know, as far as the pattern spread and stuff. Uh, there was some longer shots there that I'd have probably been better off with a full. Remember, again, with a 410, you don't have a whole lot of shot to deal with, so you got to kind of keep it together. You don't want to, if you get too wide with your patterns, you'll get too sparse with your pattern, and that bird can sail right through it and not even be touched. Remember from my previous videos on this shotgun, I do have my shim kit put to use here. I've got some extra drop and a little more cast uh, off on this shotgun to suit my, you know, my frame and the way I shoot. And that helps a lot when you're shooting sporting clays or any kind of moving target like that. Your focus is on the target. So the shotgun has to point where you're looking. Uh, you're not aiming it like a rifle. So the shim kit is a huge bonus on that. But very happy with this shotgun. We've uh, we've got a lot of had a lot of fun with it. I've had it for a while now, you know, plenty long enough that I believe if something were going to happen, it would have done happened at this point. So uh, very pleased with this. So I'm gonna have to break it down and give it a good cleaning, and I'm gonna leave you guys with a little uh, trip on the golf cart through one of the three sporting clays ranges that Elk Creek offers. This is the one that I shot today, so I'll leave that with you guys and I'm gonna tear this down and start cleaning it. Remember, if anybody asks you to give up a little of your freedom for the greater good, just remind them that freedom is the greater good.